Hello everyone, Andrew here, and we're in December! I uh, wish I had like the equipment, but unfortunately I only got my webcam and no I don't have Windows Movie Maker, so sorry. But with Disney with my December, I'm reviewing movies and games that are featured around Disney. And on Tuesday, on Monday, I reviewed the Wreck-It Ralph movie. Now it's time to review the Wreck-It Ralph game for the Wii. Now, what's the game about? Well, the game takes place after the movie. Where uh, it begins with like a bit races going on and uh, Ralph had one last cybug egg. Till uh, he accidentally dropped it into the Tappy Swamp and it infected all three three of the main games. Fix it Felix Jr., Sugar Rush, and Heroes Duty. Now it's up to Ralph and Felix to clear Game Central Station of all the side bugs before the Hulk's whole place shuts down. Now, some of you may be thinking this should be like a movie, but it's actually short. Why short? Well, there's basically five levels in each world, the fifth level being a boss cybug. And if you got a cheat code, you can, uh, like, beat it easily. So, um, what? So, uh, let me explain to you about the powers that both Felix and Ralph has. Because you're going to need both to beat the game in a single player. And uh, you can play it with just the Wiimote or with the nunchuck, as you can see by this little description right there. So, uh, with uh, Fix the Felix, you can, like, fix stuff or fix random stuff if you have enough of pieces. And also, you can uh, wall jump and double jump. Almost like Mario! Ha! Talk about taking one from. Ha! You, you say Mario's late. You, come on. Mario duck wall jump before you could, Felix. And not fully sure. <laughs> Oof, boy. And with Ralph, you can like uh, wreck, destroy cybug some cybugs with just one big punch. And also, you can climb and dash through some of the walls that are breakable. And also. In the game, if you buy Easter eggs, literally, you will unlock extra content of the game. Well, no, like, you get content as in, like, drawing concept art from the movies. Which I find pretty cool! Even though you barely see it till the DVD, they managed to do it for the game. And I think that's a big step for this game. And, uh, well, this was made by Pipeworks Imagine Engine. And what and was published by Activision. You know some of those thinking, but they're known for long games, not these kinds of short games. I mean, why? Why would we play a short game? <sighs> Sometimes I wish some games like these could be a bit longer. But after you beat all three level, all three of the fifth levels. But first, you gotta beat the first four levels. Trust me, I was actually confused as you are when I when I first played it. I played the first four levels, and I was expecting to go to the fifth level, but I was like, "What? I have to go back to Game Central Station? What? I'm, I, 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 this is not this is not cool. This is not cool, guys." If you're gonna make sure you're gonna say you're just gonna put it back to the to say today, oh sorry, you gotta beat all three of the first four levels in each world. But after you beat all three of the final bosses, you got to face the true final boss. Where you need both Felix and Ralph's powers to beat him. And uh let's just say it's way easier once you understand the whole concept of what you have to do. But how would I rate this game? Well, it is a bit better than uh, Epic Mickey 2. Nah, nah. No, it's still better than a game I'm reviewing in the future. I will tell you about it later when I feel like it. But, 
this game uh, gets a 3 out of 5. How can it improve? Well, for one, make the story longer. And, and two, try to add more characters that appear in the movie, like some of, like the Nice Landers, you know? Or maybe some of the soldiers from Heroes Duty. Or, heck, some of the Sugar Rush Racers. Just, just Ralph and Felix? Appearing as full characters with only Sergeant Calhoun in one cutscene and Penelope and Calhoun in two animated cutscenes. What? Come on! Not cool. Well, that's all I have for time for today. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter. Check out these fine videos right beside me, and also, till then, I'm the YouTuber Critic, I review games, movies, and YouTubers. So, see you around, guys.